All right, uh, call it the Buffett tax bust. An Associated Press analysis of the Buffett tax on millionaires shows that it would bring in only about $3 billion each year in new revenue to the Treasury. That's really peanuts, isn't it? And joining the company from Dallas is Ed Butowski with Chapwood Investments. All right, Ed, you specialize in investment advice to the very wealthy. Uh, right. you know, these guys would be hit by the Buffett tax. What do they think about this report? Well, actually, a lot of them are very happy this analysis is out. I spoke to a couple of them uh, within the last couple of hours. And the reason is, is because they have been basically targeted by the media as being villains for being successful. And what this exposes is two things. One, how absolutely asinine the Buffett rule is. And two, it exposes how bad the, the economy in the United States is. I mean, think about this for a second, Stuart. We, we basically have a billion dollars of debt accumulate. We pay, we pay out a billion dollars of debt a day in interest payments. We don't pay down any of the debt and we accumulate, this is another number, three billion dollars of new debt a day. So this does absolutely nothing. It's all politics. Everyone knows it. And the clients that I have and the clients that I talk to about this are very happy because it shows just how absolutely silly this whole thing yeah, is. The, the actual numbers from AP were, look, if you impose the Buffett millionaire's tax, you bring in 31 billion dollars in 11 right. years a kind of a strange time frame but 31 billion in 11 years which means actually less than three billion dollars a year and I believe we, we spend about three billion dollars every what is it every three days maybe on interest payments alone That's on the right. national debt so it, it's it absolute would, chicken uh, feed Go, uh, sorry it, hold on a second Ed. Charles hey Ed yeah. uh, listen I know you also represent a lot of athletes and uh, you know a lot mm -hmm. of these athletes and entertainers and people in that niche, they love, they like the president a lot, and they're, they're really, you know, reluctant to criticize him, even when it hits him in the pocket. After all, this is called the Buffett rule. Are, are they saying right. that? Because we understand really what this is really all about. This is about making one group of people hate or, well, strongly dislike another group of people. How are they feeling about it? Well, I, I, I actually, I'm going to talk to a few of them tonight. Um, but the, here's the interesting thing. We live in a world of just headlines. So when you see a headline, it'll raise $31 billion. A lot of people will say, hey, that's good money. They have no <laughs> idea the scope of how big of a problem is. But here's an idea. Why don't we do an analysis on how much money we could raise if every single person in this country paid some federal income tax and compared the two, then we would have a really good way of explaining how silly this whole Buffett rule is. Because you, as we all know, over 50% of the people in this country pay no federal income tax. Let's have them pay some and let's see how much money we can raise. Oh, very interesting. I, I trust you're not thinking of standing for office, okay? I, 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 that would be a tough <laughs> one, you know? <laughs> Spread the tax It burden. would be a tough one. It but really let's would. deal with the facts. Yeah, but let's deal with the facts. The yeah. facts are, this is all politics. It has no economic sense at all. It makes headlines. What we need to do is explain it, do a good job of explaining it so people understand the scope of how bad a shape we are in economically in this country. Got it. By the way, Warren Buffett, if he exercised his right to buy Bank of America shares today, would make over right. $2 billion, almost $2.5 billion in profit, which would be about yep. the take from the millionaire's tax if the Buffett rule were imposed for one year. All right, Ed, I think we That's got right. the point loud and clear. Thanks very much. Ed Butowski, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Did you have something to add? You, no, you're no, you're no, waving no, as no, if no, you're no, really gung-ho here. I, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, I'm glad we, we, we really, I'm glad this is coming out, and I hope to Ed's yeah. point, people really do the math on this. All right.